Hi, I'm Nathan from Py3G and I am going to show you how you can control the GPIO pins of your Raspberry Pi. We are going to use the programming languages Bash, C and Python. Let's start with Bash because it's the simplest way to control the GPIO pins. The Raspberry Pi uses files to control the GPIO pins. So let's change into the sys-class-gpio directory. Type ls to see the file system. Now if you want to control a GPIO pin, the first step is to export it using the echo13 export command. If you now type ls, you will see that a GPIO13 directory has been created. Now we need to echo out into the GPIO13 direction file to set up the pin for output. And then we can echo 1 into the GPIO13 value file to turn the pin on or we can echo 0 to turn it off again. Now if we don't want to use the pin anymore, we need to set the status back to in and we need to unexport it by echoing 13 into the unexport file. Now if we type ls again, you see that the GPIO13 directory is gone. We can use those simple bash commands to control the GPIO pins from other languages, for example Python and C. In Python we need the OS module to run bash commands. I wrote some simple programs in C and Python to show you how to implement the GPIO control. Let's have a look at the Python script first. So we need to import the OS module as I said to run the bash commands and the time module for the sleep function to have some delay between the commands. Then I created a GPIO pin class which does all the exporting and unexporting automatically. So you don't, you don't need to worry about this. As you see, it contains a write method which sets the value of the pin to either zero or low or to one or high. And there's a set mode method which simply sets the direction. Then there's a main method which simply blinks the pin 10 times. We can run the program by typing python3 gpio.py and executing the command. Now we will see that the LED blinks 10 times. In C, it's a little bit more complicated. Let's have a look at the C program. First, we include the standard IO, standard lib, and uni standard libraries. We define some paths and we define the low and high values. Then, we define functions to export pins and unexport pins. We define a function to set the direction, it takes a char buffer called mode. And we define a function to set the value. So as you see, the functions are very similar, similar to the Python function. In the main method, we again define the pin number, define the number of blinks, and then we simply run a loop, which sets the value to high, sleeps for a second, sets the value to low, and sleeps again for a second. To compile the program, simply type gcc -o gpio gpio.c. And as we execute the command, you will see that a file called gpio is created. We run the program by dot dash gpio. You will see that the LED blinks five times. Of course, it's very faint, but I'm sure you will be able to see it if you look closely. Of course, you can add additional functionality to the scripts in C and Python. Another easy way to control the GPIO pins is to use the GPIO app of our Pi Cockpit web interface, which is free for up to 5 Pis. So be sure to check it out. I will upload all the code to a GitHub repository and you will find the link to it in the description below. So that wraps it up for today and I hope I could help you and show you how to control the GPIO pins. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as we will post how-to videos on a weekly basis.